Jesse Hurley and Brian Wiest are two hardcore bow hunters from Wisconsin who had what you could call one epic hunting season. We hope you enjoy it as much as they did making it. Well, it's uh, December 30th, and uh, last night, um, my landowner friend, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, he's been having a buck come in on a semi-regular basis, eating out of his bird feeder. This morning, he looked out his back window and saw the one side laying in the backyard. Um, gave me a call a little while ago, and uh, I believe I've got his other side right down here. I haven't walked up to it yet. We're gonna go check it out right now. So, you know, I dreamed about this right here, boys. Look at that bone. Look at that bone. That is one massive southern Wisconsin whitetail right there, man. Wow. He busted this tine sometime in late October. I got a photo of him, I think on the 20th with it, and on the 25th without. So, October. Never saw him, never laid eyes on this buck all season, and he was here the whole time. I know he was. He made it through. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't want to try to do a bunch of BS. It's basically been off its head, what, probably about exactly 24 hours ago from now or so. Yep. Yep. 24 hours, his bone's been off his head, and he, like I said, he dropped the other one in my buddy's backyard. So we put a set together of the buck. I dreamed about putting a set together. So my shed hunting season's like almost over as it just began. <laughs> While we were editing our latest DVD, The Dark Side, my editor Kyle was sending me the stories from our team members as they were thrown together. While hacking the stories into pieces in order to meet the time constraints of our DVD, it occurred to me. These are great stories and they deserve to be told. They may not be fancy, they may not all end with a kill, but they are real. We shall call them the Whitetails Inc. Rough Cuts. Bow hunting is my life. Filming is my passion. My bow is my weapon. Hunting giant deer is my purpose. Shed hunting is what moves me. Chasing spring gobblers sharpens our skills. Designing the gear that I use is my job. Making better bow hunting videos is my duty. These are my friends and my brothers. This is my world. This is Whitetails Inc. October 28th, and we're going to do something that I like to call ninja style. Uh, Brian and I are hunting in the morning in a, in a brand new set. Trees trimmed, lanes trimmed, pegs in, everything's good to go, but I don't have my lone wolves hung. The hooks are there, but I don't have them hung. Uh, we just had some 60 mile an hour winds last week or the last couple of days. Uh, my path that I raked prior to is probably just full of leaves. Um, I need, I'm going in tonight while the deer are out, out of the woods. I'm going to rake my path. I'm going to set our stands for the hunt tomorrow. And we got a good chance at killing that buck. We're all set up here in a new stand. We're after the big giant eight pointer we've been chasing for the last couple of years. And we're excited about this morning's hunt. We got kind of a crappy wind, but we got two Ozonics units working for us. so. We'll see how those go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Seen three, three bucks over 125 this morning. My last one there was probably 140 range. 
beautiful buck. He would have been awfully hard to pass up, but he's not the one we're after. We're in a spot here where uh, we just got confirmation photos yesterday of a absolute giant eight pointer that uh, I just named uh, Goop. And a couple other nice bucks. We, we saw some three big ones yesterday morning, so it's an absolute gorgeous morning. We haven't seen a deer yet, or heard a deer, or for that matter, smelt a deer. Shop placement was so hopefully 
it's good enough to, to make him go down. It's by far the biggest buck I've ever shot, so I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Got my best buddy Brian filming. I think we just put it together, so fingers are crossed. I want to see some good blood on that arrow. I want to find that deer, so we'll see you in a bit. It's about two hours, a little over two hours after the shot. Um, it was a little far back. I still think I got both lungs. Um, worst case scenario, lever. Um, lung aid lever, hopefully. Um, we're at the site of impact. And uh, we're going to start looking for blood. And so fingers are crossed. We looked at the shot and it looked, looks decent, I think. Are you serious? I swear to God. There he lays, buddy. <gasps> Didn't go far at all. <gasps> Should go take a look. Let's get up there, dude. You believe that? Speechless, Jess. Absolutely speechless. He just killed my best buck ever. I just can't even believe it. That barrel came right out, right behind the shoulder. That deer didn't go what? 60, yeah. if that. This is a, this is a buck we called Coop. He's, uh, he's got to be a seven or eight old deer. He is just a massive stud. What a specimen of an animal. He's a little busted up. Busted that tie off. Holy crap, buddy. Look at that thing. Is that for real? <laughs> that is a giant. That is an absolute giant. Is that a giant? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Dude. Sit in a spot we haven't hunted in like a week. We had to kind of get back into work mode last week, so we did not as much as we wanted.
Now he's coming in. It's a hard spot to get into. <clears throat> we saw five does in here yesterday. We're still looking for a buck named to lobby. Stay tuned. Going back in at the lobby. So, or something bigger. Who knows? Hopefully, we see a little more deer activity. It's been kind of dead. But you gotta go. You never know when it's gonna snap. So, just need the deer to cooperate. That would help. season here. Huh? Didn't expect much. It is. It's got to be about 8 o'clock. A little after 8. Me and my uh, brother slash cameraman just ready to call it quits. Literally I was picking up my bow. We just said let's go. I went over my left. Out here in the court. Big deer right away. That's all I can tell. And uh, There's a deer that I've kind of been chasing this year. I was curious to see it. Don't know whether I want to shoot it well. Turns out I he's a shooter. Big 10 pointer's name's Lobby. Who knows? We're going to have to stick it out for a little bit longer, you know. But uh, it's exciting. Just when you think, why do I do this? Stuff like that happens. You gotta love it. Thank you very much for watching the latest Whitetails Inc. web show. Please also check out Whitetails Inc. on Facebook. And by liking our page, it'll actually automatically enter you in our prize drawings each month.
Thank you very much for your support. I've now been using the stick and pick trail camera stand for the past nine months, and I've got to tell you, it's the best camera stand I've ever seen or used. Its sturdy base will hold any camera without tipping over and even the softest mug. It's completely adjustable in the vertical, horizontal, and angular directions, which is what makes this stand so easy to use. The stick and pick is very affordable and will literally last forever. White Knuckle Productions team member Jesse Hurley has done his homework on this design. To learn more about the stick and pick, check out their website at stickandpick.com.